<laughs> Hi everyone. Mwah, mwah, mwah. First and foremost, lots and lots of love. Taking a moment here to wait for people to stream in or if you're watching it on a replay, let me know. receive all the love that's coming through channeling through from my heart right now if anyone needs it today more than ever please allow yourself to receive my love okay hello to all who are joining me right now take a deep breath in and just receive and exhale all that you do not need to carry with you anymore Okay, my loves, took a moment there to sink into today's beautiful, beautiful energy. I know that uh, we're in a new moon today, so I just wanted to acknowledge that and to let you know that with Virgo in the moon, well, the moon in Virgo, um, sometimes the energy can be very, very, very high for us to be over analytical and sometimes the need to do, you know, the masculine side, uh, the earthy side, the young side could really kick in very much for us. So please know that on the new moon, you are allowed to rest. You are allowed to rest any, any time. So today, um, I just wanted to pop on here to talk a little bit about allowing allowing yourself to receive, allowing yourself to be happy, allowing yourself to feel joy. Um, and it's painful for me sometimes to see how much people are, are waiting to be given that permission, to be given that approval, to allow in all the things that you desire. Um, and just to let you know, my name is Li Ying. If you're just joining me, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I truly, truly stand for a new era of women who stop apologizing for, fu for fully showing up as the beautiful, divine, sacred human beings that they are, the authentic self, you know, that really needs to show up fully. You know, we are conditioned to apologize for taking up space, um, we are conditioned to apologize for the things that we believe in and apologizing for the things that we want, really, you know. And really, this comes down to how we've been conditioned to believe that we are never good enough. And so we need to wait till a certain time for us to finally go for what we want. Or we are bringing ourselves down in the sense that the voice in our heads are not even ours to begin with by hating our bodies, by shaming our bodies and guilting ourselves into shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and believing that once we shrink ourselves to a certain size, we are able to um, give ourselves what we want. And that never happens because the bar keeps raising and you will keep chasing and what this is going to cost you is a lifetime that could have been lived in freedom and I really want to talk about that because I've been speaking to a couple of beautiful beautiful women this month and just really realizing how much it's costing them is making them take the move to take the action that is needed to raise themselves out of this this stuckness this place that they've been stuck in for so long you know it's admittedly terrifying of course it is you know how can it not be you're walking away from a lifetime of coping mechanisms these things after all have provided you with temporary comfort but nevertheless still comfort you know um and so i always always come to this moment with these women who reach out to me and 
and as well as you, if you're watching this, I want to really ask you, you know, what is this costing you? What is being stuck in where you are costing you? You know, if you're feeling like the resistance to move on, even though you know it's not good for you, that is costing you everything in your life, and you're still resisting the need to to move forward, it is mainly because it really comes down to your mind-made reluctance and that terror, that sheer terror of your mind because it's not familiar um, of what is beyond the unknown really, right? Because you're really letting go of what you have used as a coping mechanism to feel better but temporarily, and actually, it's not good for you. And this is the irony of the mind. The mind holds on to things that are not good for you because that is all that it knows. And when it knows that and doesn't know what's actually amazing and possible out there for you, it's never going to agree with you. It's never going to be like, okay, let's go for it. Let's take it, girl. <laughs> it's never going to do that because it's never, it, you know, it doesn't see what's possible. But the good news is your body is constantly sending you signals. Your body is constantly telling you what's right for you, what's good, go for it. Because why? Because the body is constantly in commune with what is known as your soul. And your soul always gives you something that is most sacred and most divine. It tells you what needs to be done. It tells you that you can reach for the stars if you wanted to. And it can be done with a snap of your fingers, but you need to answer that calling. You need to answer that calling. And I think what we've been going through this past year has taught us that there is really no time to lose my love. It's really just this simple. You need to commit to yourself. It is safe for you to receive. It is safe for you to be happy. It is safe for you to be absolutely free. And I want you to allow that to sink in a little bit. Does it feel uncomfortable in your body? Where, where in your body feels the tension? Let's get to that. Let's get to that. Tell me where it is. Tell me where it is. And then we'll get to that. Comment. Share. Um, if you have the question, which I get quite often, um, of how is the mind going to support you on this journey then? How is it going to reconnect with you and allow you to go on the divine journey of body love again? Because this is what I do. I have a beautiful six-month immersion where I will take you from body hate to divine self-love. Because this is the truth. If you keep hating your body, if you keep shaming your body, you will actually come to a part, a place where you're actually self-shaming and self-hating. It's just that simple because you're not loving yourself. You're not putting yourself first at all. And if you keep judging yourself, and this is what my teacher always tells me, and I really, really believe it's true, is that as long as you don't release the judgment from yourself, you will never heal. And I want you to know that healing happens as just a byproduct the minute you commit to yourself, the minute you make that sacred vow to release yourself in order to be able to receive the support that is all around you. The support can come from everywhere. The minute you allow, you allow, you allow, Everywhere, everything you see will start to, to, to manifest itself as a supportive system, an ecosystem that will allow you to, to reach out. So if you're still being plagued by the idea of how, 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 I want you to really believe that it isn't in the how. It is just in this sacred moment, your devotion to yourself and everything else will fall, fall into place. And yes, you know, some things need to fall apart. They need to fall apart for you to receive what is supremely divine and it's all there for you to take. That it is incredible like to think of how how much, especially for women, we don't allow ourselves to receive. We don't allow ourselves um, to be happy. We feel that we need to work hard for it. We, we feel that we need to work and suffer to get what we need. 
And that is not the way to live. We need to remember our sovereignty. We need to remember as women how powerful we are. And imagine the legacy you can leave behind for generations and generations of women to come. And let's take a stand. And this is what I stand for, a new era of women who stop apologizing for showing up fully as themselves, just as they are. All of them, all of you, completely, divinely you. And that is it. That is it. And this is so important because you're living behind a legacy. You're allowing your daughters and your grand granddaughters and your great granddaughters to be themselves unapologetically and stop apologizing for it. There is no need for that. You know, I totally know where you are. I know where you're standing. I know the tremor of fears you get when you think about, oh my God, what if I don't like the authentic self? What if I don't like myself? I don't like myself right now. How am I going to like myself when I'm the real self? I know that. I know that. I know that. I know that so well because I've gone through it myself. I've struggled with 10 years of anorexia and with various other eating disorders in relapses. I know because I've never loved myself. I couldn't even dress myself, you know, um, without, well, I always dress myself in the dark. And if I had to put on makeup, which I did, amples and amples of it, I would just do it by really focusing on one part of myself and not really looking at any other parts. And that was 10 years of my life. 10 freaking years. And that is something I'm so done. And the minute I told myself... I am so done with this. I quit this. I'm going to give myself full support. And no matter how messy it gets, how ugly it gets, I'm for me. I'm with me. I am doing this for myself and nobody else. Everything unfolded. I felt myself again. I was in my body. I realized how much of my sensitivity and my poetry as a human being and my presence can be loved and cherished. I started to attract beautiful people who resonate with me. I attracted a lover who is now my husband, who loves me just as I am. All of this is available for you, my love. It is so available. And so my question is, how much longer are you going to let, let this cost you? How much longer are you going to entrap yourself in this dungeon, in this prison of self, like self-hate, of body hate and body shame? Because right now you can make this holy vow to yourself that you are going to take charge, that you are safe to hold yourself. It's such a powerful vow. And the minute you do that, you will, you will begin a lifetime of transformation, a lifetime of a gifted journey to really loving yourself and then giving to others. <sighs> I just feel this so much because I'm just so passionate and I see it available. I see it possible for every single woman out there. And it just takes that holy instant, that holy vow that you would take for yourself. Sacred vow, holy vow, whatever you want to call it, you know. And um, yeah, this is all for you. This is here for you. This here is all for you. And so I just wanted to uh, end this by saying, if you're ready, I have several spots available on my six-month immersion. You can absolutely DM me or jump on a call with me for free. You will be divinely guided. I am going to hold space for you on the call, on a body mapping, heart-to-heart -heart call. We really just map out what's going on with you and how we're going to journey forward. You know, how we're going to bring you from body hate to divine self-love, you know, to leave body hate behind for good is my highest intention and it's absolutely available for you, my love. And finally, I have a free masterclass coming up this Friday in my beautiful sacred container on Facebook. It's a free support group. You are very welcome to join me there. The masterclass will teach you how to calm your nervous system because your body is continuously on 
a fight and flight mode. And as long as your body is in that fight and flight mode, your body is not going to be capable of healing. So let's get to that. Let's get down to that. I'll be sharing some of the integrative tools and practices that I teach my clients as well. If that hits the spot for you, you're so welcome to join us. Just DM me and I'll share all the details with you. Okay, my love, I look forward to chatting with you. Anyone who wants to book in a call, book in right now. There's no time to lose. As I always say, the millionaire mindset is you can always get the money back, but you can never get time back. Okay, so make sure your priorities are straight, my love. Big kiss to everyone. And I look forward to chatting with you. Bye.